What's up? <laughs> Trying my hardest to get my Peter McKinnon on. <laughs> I, I don't really don't think I'm cool enough to put, pull that off. So Peter, if you're watching, I'd love a comment to let me know whether he was cool enough to pull that off. Um, I'm not going to keep my hat on, although I do love my hat, uh, if you like my hat, it is the Stealth Keep Attacking hat, I'll drop a link in the description uh, to, to their website if you fancy yourself a Keep Attacking hat. So today we are talking SD cards, so for those of you that may have saw my last video about the C70 and the frame rates, put link somewhere if not in the description, um, you'll uh, I've noticed at one point on the screen it comes up that you may not be able to record to this card. Uh, a couple of people asked me questions about that saying they too had had a similar warning and they weren't sure what it was about. Um, so not wanting to uh, come back with a, uh, an answer that was straight back from Google, um, I actually pro approached my man at Canon and he said basically the simple thing that is your card probably isn't fast enough for what the camera can do. And you've got to bear in mind that now the new C70 it uses H.265 and 422.10-bit over 422.8-bit, although it will do that as well. Um, and that's probably what it's telling you is that your card probably isn't going to be fast enough. Now, we've been using ScanDisk Extreme Pro cards. Um, so this is the 64 gig ones that we were using on our, with our C200, which are the V30s. Um, so we were quite surprised actually when we were having problems with that, we noticed on the 4K that it would only record about a second before it been filming. Uh, these cards were all also the UHS-1 cards, which if you didn't know the difference between the UHS-1 and the UHS-2, as you can see, there is a second row of contacts um, on the UHS-2 cards over only having one row of contacts. Now, um, the reason for the second row of cards is obviously on the UHS-1 cards, uh, they have to use these contacts to not only control the card, but also to read and write, where on the US USH-2 cards, um, it can use a row of contacts to read and write and the other row of contacts for control, so it can continuously read and write, therefore handling the higher data rate. Obviously, these ones will, will, the ones we've gone with are ProGrade cards. Again, we'll drop a link in the description. Uh, we're not sponsored by ProGrade, unless of course you want to sponsor us, ProGrade. Um, we've gone with the ProGrade 128 gigs, uh, which have a 300 megabit at read speed and a 250 megabit write speed. So these are the V90 UHS-2 cards, um, which I have one fitted here in the C200 now. And you'll see when it turns on and it comes to the screen, no warning appears in the bottom here like we had. Um, obviously tested it straight away. Uh, actually, you can probably see from the settings, if it, they will come up, that it's on the 4K, 120 frames. And if I hit record on there now, you'll see that it's not stopped and quite happily recorded where had that, had that been on one of the 64 gig cards, it would have already stopped after about a second. One of the other things Canon did say is they were getting uh, some errors with some particular cards. One in particular was ScanDisk, uh, the ScanDisk 64 gig actually, which is uh, uh, one of the ones we had, but it said some of the integral cards as well, even though they were up to speed, um, it, they were still getting the warning, even though it weren't actually having a problem. So I hope that helps out with your cards. Like I said, I'll drop a link in the description to the ProGrade cards, also to the hat, if you like the hat. Um, please remember to like and subscribe this video, like and subscribe to us. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about the cards or the camera. 
Be sure to check out one of our previous C70 videos as there is starting to stack up now. We've got more videos coming with the DJI RS2 and look out for our new series, Gaz vs Russ, which uh, me and Gaz will be going head to head on uh, filming with little filming ideas, which should be quite fun. So keep an eye out for that. Like I said, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <sighs>